Hey, how's it going? This is Navjeet and you're listening to Alkaline. This is episode number 67 and this week we have Journeyman on the show. Journeyman, aka Tim Fielding, first went to the burn in 2003. He actually camps with multiple camps. He's a polycampomorphous, um, whatever that word should be. Uh, he camps with the Mirage Garage, Disorient, and Root Society. He's originally from New York City. Uh, he takes inspiration from a bunch of Davids, David Bryan, David Mancuso, David Attenborough, and David Bowie. He plays a wide range of music, going from 70s funk, soul, new disco, to progressive house, techno, and even breaks. First started DJing in school in the 1980s, and when we asked him how the burn has affected his life, he said, Burning Man has allowed me a lot of freedom to roam around in my head, as it offers an almost limitless platform to perform and do what you love. Be that for a handful of people, or hundreds, or even thousands. It has brought me closer to the West Coast scene, and especially San Francisco School of Party People, who seem to enjoy the same ethnic influences and deep vibey house music that I really like, for whatever reason that may be. There have been a few legendary DJ sets that I've even heard heard of before that really opened my eyes and recharged my batteries. Similarly, it has changed my life by providing a creative and cultural focus that was missing at home in New York. Over the years, I've built up a fantastic community of friends in New York, where the burn is a huge common denominator that has brought us all together and continues to do so. It's no exaggeration to say that the Smithsonian identified Burning Man as one of the most significant American art movements of the era, and it's been a pleasure and privilege to play a part in its growth. All right, well, before we get into the mix, let's do a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, be sure to listen to our sister podcast, Burner Podcast. Mr. Rosh is on episode number 109, and it's called The Cloud, and I believe he sits down and talks to a technology enthusiast about setting up tech at Burning Man. And uh, before we get going, uh, the next Alkaline session is going to be January 3rd, the first one of 2020. Uh, we had a great time at the last one, um, and uh, be sure to come out. That's going to be at Blonde Bar. They're always first Fridays of every month, and that's in San Diego on the corner of Washington and India Street. All right, one last thing before we get into the mix. Be sure to follow us on all the different social media things. Follow uh, follow the podcast whichever with whatever podcast service you use. And uh, be sure to give us a like on Facebook. And All right. I hope you have a great year. Happy holidays. And let's go and get into the mix. This is Alkaline.
in my heart and it opened the hole. Could have swallowed it over, believe it or not, it sweetened the soul. She keeps herself in check so you can't keep your thoughts inside. But I can't help myself, I only catch you on my mind. And there's always something. I wasn't a stool, I'm just swallowing soup. And I wasn't always thinking. I wanted to shoot, but to tell you the truth, all I want to do is see you dancing. I want to get next to you. Just follow the suit And I wasn't always thinking I wanted to shoot but to tell you the truth All I want to When I see you dancing I wanna get next to you Don't get no dancing Are you gonna make a move? When I see you dancing I wanna get next to you Don't get no dancing When you gonna make a move?
Bobby Central. Oh, 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 
Alkaline is produced by Navjeet Sarna and associate producer Tori Massey. Executive producers Arash Afshar and Amber Rose. Alkaline is a not-for-profit venture. Learn more at burnerpodcast.com.